Okay. So welcome back. We are going to go into the forest now. Um, I'm not really sure what's going to happen, but let's hope for the best. So there's like a world map like that. Um, so Wood's Way is new. And there's apparently an event there. And I guess these are, there's percentages for the amount you explore. And I guess I haven't explored anything in this area. So this is the Old Witch's Forest. And this is the Neb Neb Nibelheim Swamp. Alright, so let's go here and see what happens. So we got another tip, tip 22. After you use a weapon, you gain XP for that weapon. After a certain amount, it will level up, and your attack power with that weapon will increase. How much the weapon can improve depends on its rarity. Well, that's kind of neat. So the weapons themselves level up too. Okay. Uh, what's bonus? I don't know what bonus is. Okay, whatever. Let's check our map. Alright, we don't really know anything on our map. And we're already burning through calories. Oh, the map is filling in now. Okay. See, this is now where my OCD comes in because I feel I'll need to fill up the map in, in its entirety. Let's see, I already missed a chunk there, which is driving me crazy. There we go. Oh my god, this is horrible. Why would they do that? I'm gonna feel completely compelled to fill in this entire map now. Sucks. Alright, we have a scene here. I hope you're not slacking off. Remember, you'll be unable to move if the contract torch is snuffed out. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> Don't bother looking for me. I'm using the torch to speak directly into your mind. My unrivaled clairvoyance lets me monitor your every action. Huh? Hey, in the grass all around you. Those are magic beasts. Don't let those weak chumps bite you. Oh. I didn't know that was actually it. Um, okay. Got one XP. And a black screen. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, that's Anima. The hell? You don't know what the hell that is? Or you don't know what that is? Hmm, <laughs> fine. I'll tell you. Anima is basically an abstract manifestation of a living creature's so-called soul. No matter how big and threatening the beast, all souls become a small crystal like that. Anima is quite delicate, and having it appear in that particular form is pretty rare. Rejoice, you may have a hidden knack for hunting down Anima. It's among my favorite foods. Find a lot and bring them to me. If you do, maybe we can cross something off your bucket list. So, defeat a beast on rare occasions, they'll drop Anima. Although, if you're down on the field, you'll lose half your Anima, so try to keep that in mind. Collect the anima, bring them to the witch's house, and use them to grant items on your bucket list. The bucket list will have various wishes to be granted, but each will cost a certain amount of anima. Okay. So, you get all that? Then hurry up and get back to work. Find the pillar. I really wish it was all voice a bit. This is odd. And I'm still upset that this map requires me to explore every little crevice of it. Doesn't require me to, but I feel compelled to. Ugh. And the fact that it actually keeps track of how much you've explored of it is even worse. Oh, there's like all these little like nooks and crannies. It's like why, why, why torture me this way? I wonder how um, how specific it is with uh, rats 
staff. All right. Grade bonus remaining. What? I don't even know what that is. Whatever. There's like no enemies to fight anyway. Um, did I actually get that item though? Let's find out if I can equip that with the other ones I have here. Uh, nope. Nope. So I don't know how that works. If I get the items when I go back to town. So it's... Seems kind of roguelike in that aspect, if that is the case. If you don't get anything until you get ported back to town. You just have basically the strength that you have. Oh, something's going on here. Hey, did you hear that? It might be... I know this feeling. There's got to be a pillar nearby. Head toward the noise. I bet a pillar's around there. Keep looking. Alright, so the noise lets me know there's a pillar nearby. Yes, that's it. That's the pillar. Hmm. <clears throat> The Pillar of Fools. It's small, but it's still a pillar. So, Hundred Knight, think you can smash it? I could try. Let's see what you got. Do what you want. I'll just watch. Okay. Uh, I don't want to smash it. What if I just want to run around and kill these things? Oh, my God. Hey, where are you going? Destroy the pillar, you fool. Ugh, how thick are you? Attack it! Attack the pillar! Oh, and it's actually turning me around, so it's forcing me to do it. All right. All right. Release something. It broke. Hey, Arlecchino, the pillar actually broke. Well, more like it bloomed, but who cares? Ha 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 ha! Look, look at a swamp, a small swamp form. However, I must remind you that this is not the Pillar of Temperance. It is a miniature pillar. What's your problem? We never were able to break er bloom a pillar before. We need to celebrate this amazing feat first. Plus, even a swamp that small could be enough to transport the Hundred Knight and replenish its power. That'll make exploring more efficient. One step towards strangling this world with giant hands of swamp mud. Finding the Pillar of Temperance and making it bloom or whatever is just a matter of time. So, pillars. On the map, you'll find small pillars that show up as a green flower-like icons. By attacking them a few times, they will bloom, which releases their swampy innards. Bloomed or released pillars can provide the Hunter Knight with useful abilities. You can warp between pillars, return to Metallia's home, or replenish Giga Cows. These will prove to be very useful as the Hundred Knights journey continues. Use pillars wisely in order to maximize your time out on the battlefield. Use them aggressively. Okay. Hmm. Well done, my Hundred Knight. Maybe you really are the legendary creature spoken of in legend. Anyway, I already said this, but isn't the pillar of temp this isn't the pillar of temperance we're looking for? I guess your test has still just begun. Work your fanny pack off, Hundred Knight. Find the Pillar of Temperance and make it bloom. I mean, if you don't want to die. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, so what does this do? Enemies here. Okay. Some more XBs. Hello, more enemies. I've got another grade point up. Oh, we got some sort of bonus. I don't know what that is. Whatever. Oh, I hear a pillar. I hear a pillar. I hear it. Uh, huh. Uh, I don't 
don't really know what's going on. I don't know what the bonus is. Bonus. Nope, wrong one. Bonus. Uh, so we're at two. I kind of want to get all the way up to ten, though. I don't know if we can. I don't know if enemies respawn or not. Oh, pumpkin. I hear a pillar, I just don't see. Oh, here it is. Boom, boom. Release, woohoo. I wonder how much of the map we've explored. 48%. So I guess maybe it is a little bit more liberal, or. Or not too, too, uh strict on the numbers that I have to hug all the edges. Oh, and I think enemies do respawn. Um. Let's check our equipment here. Um. It's a level 5, cool. Level 4, level 4. So these are blunt and these are slash attack. Okay, whatever. Sounds good to me. Um, let's continue down this way. I don't know what GP is. I was getting a bunch of it. And I got some anima. Oh, I guess that's the bonus. Finding anima gives me the bonus. Oh, sounds okay. People's lands. Oops, no. Get, get to. Oh, that's a rare item. I don't think I can equip. I don't think I actually have it, or do I? No, it's not actually. Hmm. Odd. Got 34 experience in the bank. Whatever that means. I think we only give one experience to each of these things. So grade up again. I don't know what grade does. Um, it keeps going up though, so it must do something. Oh well. Let's continue onward. Still have yet to be hit. Oh, we got another animal. Uh, so we have the four bonuses. Which is good. Alright, another animal. It's an odd little game. Oh, we got some health too. 
So something is giving health. I don't think it's these little orbs that are flying. Oh, it is the orbs. Okay. Oh. Epic! We got epic item. Has been added to what? I don't know what behavior does. Keep attacking stuff, keep attacking stuff. Alright, grade up again. Alright, grade 13. Whatever that means. Just keep acquiring anima and love. Oh, we have found a pillar. I have 60 experience too, so. Let's activate. Um. This pillar as your spawn point. Uh, distribute grade points. Oh. Hmm. Great AP attack. I don't know what Tonka points are. map have we explored? 77. Let's see if we can get that up a little higher. I wonder if it's just like you have to hit certain areas. Be nice. Oh, we found something. Black box. What is in here? Epic loot? Nanabow! Stomach stone. Don't know what that is. Stomach stock will expand by one tile. Item stock capacity has increased from 16 to 17. Oh! So we have this lewd people's lands, which is... Epic. So I guess when we... Hmm. Okay, so the items go in my stomach, and then I guess when I go back to uh, Metallica, I can actually get them to use. Trying to explore a little bit here to get our percentage up a little higher. Let's see what we have it at now. 83, okay. Oh, we got an item here. What is that? Evil Lance. It's rare. Oh, another chest here. Alright, how do we open it? Alright, a blue stone. I don't know what it does, but we found a blue stone. Give me two experience each. Well, not that one, but the other one. I think gives me two experience each. Um, all right, let's 
so we're gonna go see, talk to our friend over here, see what happens. Huh? Arlecchino, what are you doing there? This area is part of my field work. It is akin to a garden for me. You jerk! You would go and do field work without telling your master? I'm annoyed that you try so hard. I am eternally grateful to hear such kind words, Master. There is nothing kind about what I just said. Oh, Sir Hundred Knight, the Pillar of Temperance can be found by going straight ahead. Yo, Arlecchino, aren't you gonna go? Oh, me? Well, my molars have been aching and aching ever since I woke up this morning. It leads me to believe that today is not a lucky day, thus I feel I should stay behind for my own safety, yes? An idiot like you wandering around in the forest? Give me a break, what a disappointing butler. I must disagree, my predictions are often correct, Sir Hundred Knight, you should be careful as well. Huh, hey, Hundred Knight, this is a test, but the danger's real, don't be an idiot. Actually, it looks like it's like teleported us on the map, so it's kind of unfortunate. There we go. Um, yeah, it did actually teleport us. Odd. Yeah, I think these pumpkins give. No, only one experience. That other one seems to give me two. Well, let's see what happens here now. 